On this episode of Leepu and Pitbull. Oh my god, this car has no power. The guys take on their very first station wagon. What is this? A beat up 91 Caprice. I'm gonna take that ugly car and make it as beautiful as this. I see. Creep, big, crump, 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 big, big. This engine is perfect for the Caprice. Perfect motor? It's a bow motor. He is going to flip out. Holy oh, crap. <laughs> There's nothing more American than a custom car. But today, custom means expensive. I'm Steve Pitbull, mechanic by trade. My dream? Make one of a kind cars, but make them affordable. Body work? I don't do body work. How? Meet Leepu. The hammer made the world. He's a car designer from Bangladesh I first saw online. He takes old junk scraps and builds unbelievable cars by hand. This is my paintbrush, and these are my sculpting tools. Nobody in America builds stuff like this. I'm a simple guy with a big dream to be the greatest car designer in America. So I brought him here to do things a little differently. Oh, no. way. Oh. And make both of our American dreams come true. Ah, God. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Service. We'll call you when we're going over there. What year is the vehicle? At Pitbull Motors, a 91 Chevrolet Caprice wagon rolls onto the lot. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? Hello, how can I help you? I was looking for the place that does custom car builds. What do you got? I have a station wagon. That one? A station wagon is a first for customizers Leepu and Pitbull. What is this? This beat-up Caprice belongs to family man Bill Hunt. Had it for 12 years, and it's definitely seen better days. I can see that. His wife Barbara hopes Pitbull and Leepu can secretly customize it for Bill's birthday. So this is like a surprise for Bill. It is. He's a good dad. He's a good husband. He works really hard. And I feel that this is a way that I can give I, back to him. You know. This guy, Bill, sounds like a regular guy just like me. And I'm looking at this car, and I'm saddened by it. Here's an opportunity for me to give a guy who deserves a break a break. Pitbull is sold on Barbara's husband, but he has to sell Lipu what looks like a design nightmare. Lipu, what are you seeing, man? There's a lot of metal here. Design-wise, there's no place where I can put my lines in there. It's so big, bulky. It's a huge, bloated ship. It's, it's waiting for the time to die. Just like... Let, let's see what I have to deal with with the engine. Lipu, can you assist me in... Open it. There it is. Looks like that needs a little work, huh? All right. Whoa. I don't know what's going on here. Your husband, what does he like? Do you like power? Does he like saving gas? I mean... He does like power. He likes to drive fast. I know he likes American cars. I think we should take this thing for a ride. You got the keys? I got the keys. Beauty. I hope. Dude, Steve, what are you doing this? I mean, what am I going to do? Am I going to throw the lady out of the, the parking lot? Put your seatbelt on. So here we are in a 91 Caprice. And you know what? Even in 91, this car was a big, giant bucket of bolts. The Caprice wagon was launched in 1991 to compete with the minivan. At 18 feet long and 6 feet wide, it was nicknamed the Beached Whale, and it drove like one, too. You know, back in 1991, they were all about the emissions, you know? Yeah. So this engine is like a 5-liter pile of garbage. It just got no power. Let's go do a 0 to 60 test, see what this car's got. When this wagon rolled out of the factory, its 170-horsepower engine took it from 0 to 60 in 11 seconds. All right, here we go. You ready? Pitbull wants to see what he's working with after 24 years and 100,000 miles. Wake me up when you get to 60. First, we're going to get the tires nice and dumpy. <laughs> we're going to burn them up. Nice. We'll go nowhere. Get a lot of smoke going. <laughs> screeching, screeching, screeching. Big ball of smoke. Go. 
boom, I let off the brake. Blech. I start dribbling down the road. Oh my God, this car has no power. Come on, baby. Go Come on, push. <laughs> Come on, push. No. 10 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour. Seven, eight, 30, nine, <laughs> 10, 40, 11, 12. And I'm just watching the speedometer go like this, ever so slow. <laughs> 55, we got 60 right there. <laughs> 17. 17 seconds, zero to 60 in 17 seconds? That's pathetic. Tommy, oh. I don't understand why are you doing this. Oh, I just huh? had to see it to believe it. I know it's a pig of a car, but it'd be nice to have that guy driving something he can appreciate. How would you make this like a fast car? I know I have no problem with adding power to it. Put a motor in it and hot rod it up, you name it. But the question is, what can you do to this car to make it look better? Dude, I mean, it's such an ugly car. And it's got no character to it. You have to have something to give it, give it something, you know? It's so ugly, he can park this car, the key in it, Nobody's going to steal it. <laughs> you got that right. Leepu can't see a way to turn Bill's caprice into a birthday present, but Pitbull owes Barbara an answer. Hey. All right, well, I got to say, your husband's a very brave man driving this thing back and forth to work. So for starters, what kind of money do you have to put in the car? About 13000 all right, how much time are we looking for? Well, Bill's birthday is coming up in five weeks. First thing, she said 13,000. And now she says five weeks. Oh my God. All right, so look, we'll take this job on. You know, at the end of the day, it's simple. She's a real sweet woman. He sounds like a great guy, very close to my heart. I can't turn him down. I gotta do this car. Barbara, I need some time to think about my, my, my design, my inspiration. Just promise me that it's gonna be something that Bill is gonna like. Believe me, when Bill sees this car, he's gonna love it and wanna drive it to work. Deal? Okay, it's a deal. So, it looks like we're making our first custom station wagon. Lee Boo and Pitbull have just five weeks to turn this aging junker into a car that'll make a great dad smile. Yo, guys! A station wagon is a first for their crew of customizers, too. What is this? Our next bill. What are you thinking, bro? This thing's huge. It's ugly. It's hideous. This is a favor to somebody. All we got to do is figure something out. You forget, this thing looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you see it, right? That's what I'm saying. What I'm going to do with, with this? I have no inspiration, not whatsoever. I can even look at the car. We have the job, and we're doing it. What I want you to do is get into it, get it on a lift, tear it down, tell me what you find. Pitbull's secret to making fast cars at low cost is his hoard of parts. Most people look around and say, what's all this junk? You know, at the end of the day, this so-called junk is the reason why we're in business, because the reality is this, we're building affordable customs. Pitbull has plenty of engines just waiting for the match with the right car but the motor he's chosen for the Caprice doesn't even come from a car. You know, this is a boat engine, and the camshaft profile is a little different. Other than that, it's pretty much the same thing. It's making nearly double the horsepower by the time we're done. So Bill is gonna be more than happy when he steps on the gas pedal and feels that thing roar. This 200 horsepower Chevy small block V8 is just the start of Pitbull's plan to double the Caprice's 170 horsepower. First, Pitbull needs mechanic Becker to convert the boat motor to run in Bill's wagon. It'll save the guys $2,000. But mechanic Becker has a lot of work on his hands. If we would have bought the one that fits, it would have been an extra two grand. It's what we had. You change the cam and the cam You're cover right. and the, the, the flex plate. You and the damn little thing. things. Let's see. A few hours of work, two grand. A few hours of work, two grand. A few hours of work. Two grand. A lot of work to get a motor back into the groove where it's ready to go into a car. Pitbull leaves Becker to his Caprice power play. But world-renowned designer Lee Fu is struggling for ideas to transform the uninspiring station wagon. 
I have a hard time visioning this thing turning into something cool. We'll see what Lipu has in store, though. I'm not a miracle worker. I'm a car designer. But this car, to make it beautiful, we need a miracle worker. Lee Poo and Pitbull are three days into their first ever station wagon customization. Oh, dude, what the hell, man? Pitbull agreed to rebuild a 91 Caprice as a surprise for doting Father Bill. The car designer, Lee Poo, doesn't have a clue what to do. Dude, what are you doing? I can't find the inspiration for this car. I mean, it's too, too tough. Go get your coat. I got an idea. Meet me out front. I'm going to start the truck up. I feel bad that I stuck Leepu with this uninspiring car. But if I needed inspiration, I know just the place I would get it from. Barbara's husband loves American cars, so Pitbull is taking Leepu to a classic car dealer. Wow. He hopes that Leepu can find inspiration somewhere in this treasure trove of muscle cars. You know what, Steve? Oh, this car has a lot of characters. Look at the chromes, the shades, the eyes. Beautiful chrome, look at that. Chrome gave a corrosion-resistant finish to muscle cars up until the early 70s, before it was replaced by cheaper plastic. Look at this chrome, wow. It's still sought after today, though, and Lee Poo is dazzled by it. You know what, Steve? I'm loving this chrome, man. I got a saying, if it's got chrome, go home. <laughs> I can't stand it, it makes me sick. I am anti-bling, and I'm hoping the chrome that he sees in these beautiful cars isn't affecting his brain and rolling into the dopey chrome that I don't like. Look at that chrome bumper. I see chrome, 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 bling, bling, chrome, chrome, bling, bling, chrome, 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 bling, bling. What is this? Ooh, Super this Sport is Impala. Impala. Lee spies a 65 Chevy Impala Super Sport with its iconic chrome front grille and bumper. Wow. That's a beautiful car. In 1965, the Chevrolet Impala was offered in luxury trim. It was renamed the Caprice, and a new car was born. But by 91, the Caprice had become bloated and lost all the cool features of its classic ancestor. Well, this is the father of the Caprice. This is what that car started life as. You have to pay homage to a car like this. Wow. Look at the muscle here. Wow. You don't find lines like that anymore, do you? Look at them lights. Wow. I got it, man. I got it. I think. got it? Good. I got it. I'm going to take that ugly car back in time and make it as beautiful as this. He's all over it. He realizes that's the father to Bill's car. He knows where we're going with this now. He's got his inspiration. Deal? Deal, man. Deal. Let's do this. Lee Poo now has his dream custom car vision in mind, so he hits the road in search of chrome. We still need quite a few parts for the Caprice. Meanwhile, back at the shop, Pitbull's power play is underway. To save money, Becker is converting the stripped-down boat motor using parts from Bill's old Caprice engine. Normally, when you're building a motor, all the leftover stuff, most people would just throw everything in a box and chuck it or throw it away. Well, we like to save stuff and repurpose things. So here we got a whole bag of small block bolts. Uh, we got, you know, Chevy small block distributor. You know, sometimes you got to rob from Peter to pay Paul. Pitbull's saving a couple of bucks on the engine, and he's asked mechanic Adam to salvage the Caprice's old transmission, too. Every now and then, you get a car like this, which obviously wasn't cared for. Uh, I mean, these transmission lines were rotted all the way through, so when we were, when we were disconnecting them to, to pull the motor, they just... They just crumbled in our hands. After 24 years connected to Bill's 170 horsepower motor, this transmission looks in bad shape. Oh, yeah! Up, 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 and away! But now, Pitbull's asking it to handle double the power. You know what happens when you add power to high mileage used cars? Transmissions blow up. I want to prevent the problem before it arises. Performance transmissions cost up to 3,500 bucks new. But Pitbull wants high performance at bottom dollar. So he takes the old Caprice unit to a specialist buddy of his. I'm gonna have him take it all apart, clean it all up, rebuild it, and that car's gonna be a rocket when we're done with it. Here we are at Freddy's spot. Hey, what's hey, up, what's man? What's up, man? How you doing? All right, how you been? Good. Freddy Brown builds transmissions for NASCAR. 
and Pitbull is hoping his friend will be able to rebuild this one for just 500 bucks. Why don't we open this up and see what you got to work with? Let's do it. Freddy's favor will only come cheap if the transmission is worth saving. You look at the condition of it, and you can see that the transmission really was neglected for a long time. It looks like uh, it's got some death oil on it. First thing Freddie says is death oil. Now I'm worried. This thing could cost me double if we need hard parts. Death oil is thick, discolored oil that smells burnt. It gets its name because it can signal death for the moving parts at the transmission's core. Hopefully it's a usable core. Yeah, I hope so. This is the heart of the transmission, where the expensive gears and clutches are housed. This is the main input drum, and this is where your third and fourth clutches are, your forward clutches. Everything pretty much goes on in here. As Freddie dismantles the core, things start to look up. The pump rotor is in nice shape. The rings are good. The veins are nice. Beautiful. So I, I think I've seen enough as far as knowing the condition of this transmission. We shouldn't have a problem with it. Perfect. A little money savings there. Good deal. Pitbull's performance upgrade is on track. Guess you need it like yesterday, right? The second it's ready, give me a call. I'll run cash down and make it happen. No problem. Oh, man, things are looking good. Transmission's clean, easy rebuild, and it's going to run like a racehorse. It's week two of the build. And while Pitbull has been repurposing the transmission, Leepu's been shopping for chrome, and he's taken a page out of Pitbull's playbook. He's bought an entire car from the junkyard. But this Impala is in bad shape. Hey, come on! Push it! Yeah. And Pitbull knows nothing about it. What the hell is that? That's it, that's it, that's it. The junkyard is down the road a piece. No, no, listen, this is Impala, the legendary Impala. I know what it is, but why, did somebody dump it on the front lot? No, I found it. You paid for this? Yeah, a thousand bucks. A thousand dollars. Listen, we can use some of the parts of it for the, uh, the, for the build. The doorknob? Yeah. What's left? Front, front fender, top portion for the line. It's a loss, it's a total loss. I want to beat Pitbull at his own game. I'm gonna use every part of this Impala that I can, especially the chromes. It just, I'm very anti-chrome. It's, it's something that tries to get attention. Right. I'd rather just You're assume right. attention. After all this chrome, all the attention is gonna grab to the car. All we gotta do just is like put a loud... Come on, love me, look at me. It's like wearing a big fake gold chain. <laughs> hey, everybody, look hey, at me. Steve doesn't like chrome. Why not? These chromes will make this car amazing. It's gonna be like a fish, you know, in, in, in the ocean. Yeah. And the sun hits on it, gling, 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 And it's gling, gonna gling, sink. Gling, gling. I, I just, I don't get well, this. Yeah. We need more, more chrome. There's more, more coming? More chrome, more chrome. <laughs> chrome, chrome, chrome is horrible. The centerpiece of Lipu's design is the iconic Impala chrome front grille. This bolts on here like this. Right. But as soon as the team fit it to the Caprice... What's this big gap? Yeah. This should be tight. There's a problem. The Impala is wider than the Capri Caprice. Oh, yeah. Too wide a bit. Way too wide. It's a whole headlight too wide. Lipu's chrome dream is becoming a nightmare. It doesn't go with the proportion. It won't look good. Leepu and Pitbull are two weeks into their 91 Caprice customization. Leepu is taking it back in time using chrome parts from its ancestor, the 65 Impala. But the chrome doesn't fit the car. Whoa! Impala is wider than the Capri Caprice. Oh, yeah. And this is all chrome. You can cut it. Yeah, I think if we start cutting up the front end parts, we're going to run into a lot of problems. If Lipu cuts the Impala bumper, it will need to be re-chromed. This will cost thousands of dollars and take months. Lipu needs another game plan. What do you think, for real? I think leave the original Impala real bumper all alone and try to wide up the uh, front end and bring the Caprice down to Impala. Instead of making the chrome fit the car, make the car fit the chrome. Lipu has decided to redesign the Caprice so it fits the chrome. His radical plan is to extend the front down to the bumper using the old hood from the junkyard Impala. Very important thing is it's a line. We can use this hood line. This is very important. 
Just cut the front, weld it up here, it'll match it. With only one Impala hood, the cuts must be right the first time, but Leap Boo doesn't believe in measuring. This much, I have to fill. Leap Boo, you sure you don't want to give it a couple extra inches there? I, hey, man, I know what I'm doing. They've been asking questions. This is my processes. If you start thinking, you keep on thinking. You don't know where you're going. Cut it first, then think. We're all doing things now a bit unconventionally, learning from Lipu. Normally, you're supposed to measure. Uh, you know, measure twice, cut once. With him, it's measure never and just cut. Lipu cuts a T-shape out of the Impala hood. Let's try this. He eye matches it to the Caprice. Whoa! It's working. And happy with his cut. Let's tech, 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 tech. He welds the two hoods together. Look at that. The new hood is formed. Looking good. It has the center line of the Impala and is now long enough to fit the chrome grill. See the line right there. Nice. Nice line right there. But at least hood is there. With just over two weeks to go, Lipu's transformation is taking shape. Well, it looks good. Fancy. Next door, Becker is done converting Pitbull's boat engine. But before he drops it into the Caprice, Pitbull plays his ace in the hole, a high-performance fuel injection kit. You know, we always reuse and we always repurpose. Taking that old boat engine is a classic example. But this time around, I have to reach deep. I have to go against what I normally do and order something. Holly fuel injectors power the NASCAR Sprint Series. And this kit comes with a $2,000 price tag. This thing is going to crank. You look like a five-year-old at Christmas. This is the throttle plate. This is where the air gets sucked into. The more this is open, the faster the car is going. Pitbull's happy knowing the new injectors will boost his engine from 200 to 320 horsepower. But there's one thing worrying him. It's just so shiny. Steve's going on and about hating chrome, he hates aluminum, he hates polished aluminum, and then guess what he orders? A polished aluminum and chrome fuel injection kit. I don't understand how you'd be upset with this. You ordered it, and you've been busting his chops about chrome here, you ordered this. The difference is this, dude. This car is gonna perform with these shiny parts on it. Those shiny parts are just gonna say, hey, everybody look at me. Oh, I can't see the car because the sun is in my eyes. That's candy, that looks good. That looks sharp. While Pitbull applies the finishing touches to his shiny motor. Up. Hold, up, hold, up, 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 up. Lipu continues to work on his chrome front of the car. The team attach the rear quarter panels from the junk Impala and start work on the rear, where Lipu has another plan. Add even more chrome. Yeah, I mean, like that. I don't think that's going to work. I think we just got to do what Lipu wanted us to do. He wants to follow the quarter panels, and they're up here. I guess so. Just like at the front, Lipu wants to make the car fit the chrome. Only this means attaching the rear bumper right across the tailgate. What, what are you doing? There, there is a tailgate here. Did you not notice that? Listen, this is what Lipu wanted. Common sense predicts you don't cover a hatch with a bumper because you have to open the hatch. Lipu, what did you do? What? The back of the car. What happened? You cannot take a bumper and put it covering the hatch, rendering it useless. The first thing this guy's gonna do when he sees this car is say, I can't get into my hatch. So this quarter panels, the bumper goes right here with the original Impala, starts from here. It's all about my design. That bumper has to match with the quarter panels. Then it's gonna be, a, a, like, look like a fat, ugly ass, like big mouth, like ass. Some people like big, fat asses. When the man goes to the store, he can't even put anything in the back. He can't get his kids in the back seat. This has to be addressed, has to be fixed. Ah. Oh. For once, Lee Boo is prepared to compromise his design. Okay, I can see Pitbull has a point. The hatch needs to be open. I'll change my design, and it'll look even better. <laughs> you know? It's not that bad. I think it's pretty cool. There are just 12 days until customer Barbara wants to surprise husband Bill with a customized 91 Caprice for his birthday. Here it is. One more part closer to completion. 
Pitbull's performance push is on track as the Caprice's old transmission arrives back at the shop. F and B 700 off four. Chris Schiff's. Ooh, nice. Specialist Freddie Brown has reconditioned the transmission's core to handle the 320 horsepower of Pitbull's modified engine. This guy's gonna be doing burnouts all day long with this car. Smooth cruising. But man, why don't we rock and roll? Because I'd like to drive this car during the week. Look what we have. We have a 350 cubic inch, roughly 320 horsepower engine. Then you got this performance transmission that's gonna have a stall converter. What that does is, when you go to accelerate, it raises the stall speed and it kicks in at a higher gear. So when you come off the line, you can go faster. This guy is gonna be psyched when he gets in this car and takes it for a ride. All right, let's do this. Before anyone gets in this car for a ride, Pitbull has to get the engine in. Okay, lift it up higher. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Distributor. No, 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 yeah, that's not gonna work. With these custom cars, um, sometimes it's, uh, it goes on like a glove, and it fits perfect right away, first time. Other times, you, you bulldog it in. You just push the jack in and, and the thing at the same time, and you're in place. But you can't, because the distributor in the intake manifold is already at the firewall. Oh, so in other words, this engine doesn't fit for some ungodly reason. Leepu and Pitbull have just 12 days to finish customizing a 1991 Chevy Caprice wagon. Pitbull is doubling the car's horsepower with a performance fuel-injected V8. But his customized motor is stuck halfway into the engine bay. Push it. Oh, yeah, this ain't happening. This is not happening. If the team can't work out the problem, this could set the build back weeks. Listen, it's eight inches away from where the transmission bolts in. So in other words, this engine has to go back eight inches. I can't come back yeah, until I come down. I have to yeah, come down. Hold, hold, on hold on a second. Hold on a second. How, how is this even possible? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Pitbull spies the problem. His new fuel injection kit on top of the motor is hitting the back of the engine bay. I get it. I get it. Take the off. Pitbull decides to remove the injector's air intake so the engine can be moved back further. The reality is I've been up and down, and I know it's simple. Four bolts, intake off, slide it into place, push it back. Yeah, baby, we're in. The engine has finally hit home, and there's just enough room to bolt the air intake back in place. Teamwork makes the dream work, fellas. Rock and roll. The build is back on track. Now Pitbull wants to stress test his modifications and fire it up for the first time. Make sure the throttle works. Let's get it outside, breaking that camshaft, and hopefully we'll get it back in one piece. You know, we did so much to the engine in this Caprice, anything could go wrong. Right now, it's time to turn the key and pray it starts. You know, that thing... cracks off it's it started i'm ecstatic it starts and sounds like a beast you know what that sound really is that's a sound of success that's a job well done right there i think we're ready to roll next thing you know pretty much just shuts down i try to restart it it doesn't start i would I, I wouldn't even try and start it it's apparent that something's really bad. Another engine problem is threatening to delay Pitbull's plans. It sounded like I lost the cylinder. It's really hard to say what's going on. I mean, it could be a mechanical failure. Um, we need to pull the plugs out, get a look at them, and see what's going on, read the plugs, see what, uh, you know, what happened. It, it's not spark plugs. There's something electronically wrong with this vehicle. No, causing it's not right. electronic. Uh, it, yeah, I beg to differ. If it's misfiring, that's electronic. Master mechanics Brian and you know, Pitbull are a deadlock. Yeah, I think I do. Oh, you guys no, need to no, step no. the f me. My crew work on the we oh, you, have you, you couldn't figure this out? Yeah, me. oh, this base yeah. you. you know, when you have two passionate guys working on something, sometimes things get a little heated. No I need a computer. I need a computer. I need a computer. A computer that they thought it was 2005 for 91. That does not work. 
sometimes you just gotta sit back and let the solution work itself out. Here's a problem. Pitbull's motor. Is that what happened? <laughs> is out of gas. When you get too involved in a project, sometimes you overlook the small things. And the vehicle being out of gas is a small thing. Typical. You can build as many cars as you want, but when there's yeah, no gas in them, it know, doesn't this, matter. Nothing's gonna happen. It just doesn't matter. <laughs> the magic of fuel makes the 320 horsepower engine burst back to life. Yeah, gasoline, baby. Now, with only 10 days until Barbara's husband's birthday, the pressure is back on Lipu. I'm trying to uh, figure out the uh, fender with the headlight. He's already lengthened the hood to fit the chrome grille. Now he wants to widen the fenders to fit the lights and bumper. Hold it there, hold it there. Okay. It's just working. It's working. I got my line, I got my line, I got my line. I'm using this 65 Impala fender to widen the original one, and then cut, cut, cut the top, and match it to the hood. That's it, that's it. That's the Impala line right there. It all the way around here. This was the most important line for this. With the fender flush against the chrome bumper, the crew closed the gap with sheet metal before Li Pu hammers it into shape. This is a traditional technique predating the Henry Ford era of car production. And with the last hammer blow, the Caprice's bodywork finally fits Lipu's chrome. Amazing. Amazing job. The custom Caprice wagon is finally taking shape. It's supposed to be a birthday surprise from Barbara to her hardworking husband, Bill. The only problem is, Bill has turned up in Pitbull's office. Custom up in the sky is here. Barbara's here? Not Barbara, her husband. Bill? Bill? That's the man, Bill. Oh my God, dude. Why'd you tell him I was here? Bill thinks his car is in for a simple brake repair. He has no idea his surprise present is just yards away. Listen, cover this thing up. This is bad. This is bad, bad, bad. Lee Poo and Pitbull have 10 days to finish customizing a 91 Chevy Caprice as a surprise birthday gift for Barbara's husband, Bill. Bill that's the man, Bill. Oh, my God. Hey, come on up, come on up. But Bill has turned up at the shop unannounced. He thinks his car is just having its brakes fixed. Now Pitbull needs to come up with an excuse fast. He must be Bill, All right, Barbara's yeah, husband. how you doing? Steve, nice to meet you. Looking yeah. for the car. Cause of my other shop. I don't know if Barbara told you. It, it started with one thing and went down the line to the next. You know, I'm gonna keep the money okay. tight for you, but we had to order a proportioning <clears throat> valve, which came in three times wrong. I it's hear been here for a while, so I hear you. And you know, I'm keeping the price down in light of that, but well, it, it I would just hope so. the cost so it's big. Not on me. Yeah, I hear you, but can we see it? It's about a mile away. It's locked up. Nobody's there, and it's nearing closing time and all. And the guys are all jamming. It's just you know, I need this thing a week. I got. I have another car. I got to get it back to. Alone, huh? Yeah, to my brother. One week with that car, you'll have it. It'll be right, and you'll be very happy. I'll call you as soon as it's ready, and you'll have it back, and it'll be in check. Okay. All right. Take care, right. Bill. See nice you meeting week, you. Man. Yeah. Have a good day. You got it. Oh, oh, oh God! God. It's a close shave. What happened? What happened? Dude, Bill wanted to know why that little brake job takes what he wants? three weeks. He wants his car. I told him he was at the other shop, waiting on parts, everything I could say. Oh my God, it was very close. Guess what? What? He's got to have his car back in one week. A week? One week, man. But that's a lot of work. I, bro, it is what it is. We got to have it back. We can do it. We have to get it done. We can do it. Do it. All right. To make the new deadline, the car must go to paint tomorrow. But Pitbull and Lipu have to test drive it. And before they can do that, it needs high performance brakes and lights. 91 Caprice Wagon has uh, this tail light somewhere in here. The 65 Impala has three lights like this. We're going to wind up putting all three of them in here one like that, one like that, one like that. Good. Fire this thing up, guys. The 
that the priest is finally ready to hit the road. Pitbull wants to push his converted boat engine to the limit, so he's brought the wagon to his local racetrack. Yeah, baby, here we are. Oh, yeah. Say, <laughs> hey, what did this thing do? Zero to 60 last time we ran it. Uh, 17. 17 seconds? Yeah. It's time for Pitbull to put the pedal to the metal. Ready? One, two, three! The Caprice has clocked 6.5 seconds, over 10 seconds faster than the original run four weeks ago. This car's got some power in there. Yeah. Tell you, this Holly fuel injection system just lights it right up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no win is complete without a victory lap. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 We're going 100 miles per hour. Hey! hey. <laughs> no hey. hey, man. He says, no hands. Not bad. Oh, my God. Pitbull's driving has pushed the wagon to breaking point. Smoke. Oh, my God. You gotta stop. Ah. The Caprice's oh. old exhaust has blown. Oh. Bill's oh. birthday present needs to go to paint today, but Pitbull can't deliver him a car that fills with toxic fumes. We got a leak in the back. Yeah. Better do something about that. Ah, uh, about to throw up. But you know what? We ran, what, seven seconds? Less than seven. Six something. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's do it. Back at the shop, the team have just hours to fabricate an entire exhaust. You know, we put a different engine in this car, different headers, different injection. That exhaust is never going to fit. We're making a new one. Nah, it's pretty good. Try the car. Brian and Colin are building a three-inch custom exhaust to handle the Caprice's 320 horsepower. Lift your end up. We don't have a whole lot of time. Leepu needs to put the finishing touches to his design, but he has to wait until the car is off the lift. Time is a real factor in this car. I mean, we cannot, we can, we can do anything to this car, but it will take a lot of time. Time is important. We have to get this car back to the client. You know, we can get this Caprice out tonight. We just might make Bill's big birthday surprise. It's gonna be tight. The bigger question is, is he gonna like it? After five weeks customizing an old beat up 91 Caprice, Lee Boo and Pitbull are ready to deliver their first custom station wagon. Just in time. Barbara meets them at the shop to pick up the surprise present for her husband, Bill. It's the first time she's seen the car. This is the car? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Wow. It doesn't even look like the same car. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. <laughs> what do you think? Take it over to him? I'm ready. Let's I go. I'm ready. Get in. Pitbull and Lipu have Barbara's seal of approval. This was a very difficult build. It was a horrible car. Right now, I'm a bit nervous. What if Bill doesn't like it? Right. Oh, look at this guy right here. Look at him. Look, he's going to hurt his neck. Ah, ah. What do you want to do? You want to call Bill? Let him know we're on our way? We should. Go ahead. Give him a ring. OK. Hey, Bill. Hi, Mom. I wanted to let you know I'm coming home with the wagon, and I need you to come out. See you shortly. OK. All right. Bye. Bye. Barbara gave us about 13000 for the build. Cost us about nine to 10 so I made a few dollars. Not only that, she loves the car. I'm just hoping Bill does, too. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, my god. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Just a little surprise. That's not my call. I was waiting for her to pull up in my 91 Caprice. Then I saw this. I was a little confused, and then I was like, oh my god, she's in it. Wow. I just wanted to do something for you, since you're always doing everything for us. I love it. <laughs> it's really nice. They've turned it into a 65. Lee Boo took Bill's old 91 Caprice wagon and transformed it into a tribute to the classic 1965 Chevy Impala. I 
took the Caprice back in time. It's all about chrome. I love it. It Thank looks you. great. Thank you. Up front, the car sports the iconic Impala chrome grill. The rear is framed by chrome bumpers and as a finishing touch, 16 inch chrome wire wheels. I'm not the chrome kind of guy, but on this car, it fits right in. I was a little afraid that Bill thought like I did, but when he saw that car, he loved it. I love the nose. It looks like the nose of a shark, the way it tapers down. And then you got the hood flattened in the front. Lee Poo combined the slope of the Caprice's hood with the Impala's distinctive lines, carrying the marriage through the quarter panels and finishing with the Impala's classic rear lights on the wagon's tailgate. Want to see under the hood? Yeah. <sighs> Pitbulls replaced the Caprice's old 170 horsepower engine with a small block V8 and custom fuel injection kit, delivering nearly double the horsepower and a zero to 60 of 6.5 seconds. Steve and Lipu have done an amazing job. Lipu told me to trust him, and I did, and it's beyond my expectations. So you got 320 horsepower in the car. A lot more than I have, that's exactly. for sure. Exactly. Who knows how to drive this car? Pretty tight for a way. Yeah, huh? not bad. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> this guy built it. Yeah. It's definitely an attention getter. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe it. I'm in awe, you know, that she went to these lengths to do this for me. I don't even know how to repay her at this point. See that Lipu? Another happy customer. And his family. Yeah. You didn't want this job. Yeah, but now? Not only do we make them happy, we made some money. Yes. Never underestimate yourself. Great Thank work. you. Great work. <laughs>